Mistake, remember? The little baby just jumped in the water and it's gonna drown. Stay. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Come on, baby, you gotta get out of the water. You gotta get out of the water. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Oh, fuck. He's cold, he's wet. I gotta get him dry. Oh, shit. You stay, Timber. You're okay, baby. You're okay, baby. You're okay. Oh, I've got a mess now. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. You're okay. Get me in that water. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I don't know where this is you are. Dang it, I couldn't let him drown. His mom's gonna, oh, his mom's probably gonna. You should never touch wild babies, ever. I couldn't let him drown, no. my sand all over it, I don't know if it's mama. Still breathing? Hmm? Huh? Little thinker? Huh? Tiny. Jumped in the water. Tried to swim it. Dry. Shit. It's 
never, ever, ever grab wild babies. I couldn't let it drown. It is cold. We're in a spot now, Lobo Nation. And breathe on and warm it up. It's cold. That water's cold. Things probably terrified. So now the problem is I got human scent all over this baby. It's still shaking, it's still cold. I'm trying to warm it up. More than likely the mom is gonna abandon it. But don't die from shock here being too cold. Me holding it. Yeah. Trying to blow some heat. I was in the water. I had to get everything out of my pockets. Timber. Timber's still across the creek. Oh hell, what do we do now? You gotta get it warm first thing. Mm -hmm. Little baby. Tiny, I'm surprised it made it across that creek. Made it to the other bank and it couldn't get up the bank, it was just laying in the water. If it would have made it up on the bank, I probably would have left it be. It was just laying there in the water, wouldn't get up. Uh, 
I figure out what I'm going to do. I don't like heck how much sense I got on it now. It's not good. So what do you, should I let it die in the water? Shaking. Yeah, poor baby. Keep shaking. It's cold. I'm gonna go up to my side by side and turn on the heater. See if we can get this little. Yeah, shaking terrible. Very scared to death too. call the fishing game and talk to a guy I know George Fisher see what we need to do I know the mama ain't gonna take it back after warming up like that so I got changed we got the deer here I just got a hold of my fishing game friend uh, he's way up in the fishing game and he said now that she's warm or he I don't know what it is uh, to take it back that that is not a fact that if you touch them don't touch wild babies he said i did the right thing getting warm but take it right back and he said the moms will leave them sometimes for 24 hours so uh, i'm dry now it's dry warmed up i'm gonna take it back there we'll let mama find it you better be nice coco <laughs> Well, I got to head get it back to mama. I always I always have heard that if you uh, touch a baby, the mama won't take it back. He said that is not the case. <laughs> like it. Oh. Salt off of you. Can't we keep it? <laughs> Can't I, I got to run back and put it, put it back. Oh, that's what we're doing. Get going, Brendan. <laughs> so I'm gonna run her back in her. Oh, they're all hers. Quick timber. Um, in my pickup, it's a lot more quiet. It's side by side, loud. She's pretty calm. Or he. Maybe a little bug. Maybe we'll look right before we turn her loose. Oh. I say the fishing game. Then. That. It'll be fine, just turn it loose. And he also said some stuff I didn't like to hear. So if you guys do pick them up, and don't get them back to their mom. They don't make it. Uh, they are kind of ordered to put them down. They don't rehab them, per se. So. It's never a good idea to touch wild babies. I just couldn't let this one drown or freeze to death so don't don't grab little babies like this like I said he uh, told me just take it back mom will be looking for it it's not shivering no more he said I did the right thing getting it warmed up but to get it back just as soon as possible so that's what we're doing I head back over to where I was fishing and uh, come back to his mom heartless trapper I hear that all the time you must be a heartless trapper I don't hate none of these animals I don't hate wolves I don't hate coyotes you know I like saving calves it doesn't bother me to 
kill a wolf, doesn't bother me to kill a coyote. Heck, it doesn't bother me to kill a deer to fill my fridge, you know, it's a, but you gotta have compassion. You know, I, I don't take taking a life lightly. You know, if you're taking a life, there should be a purpose for it. Uh, either to feed your family or protect livestock or, normally get a deer every year you know here I am couldn't let that little feller drown oh this little deer is going to have one story to tell actually licking me. I'm glad my kid wasn't here. He'd be wanting to keep it. That was never the intention or the plan. I was hoping, hoping just get it warm, save it, and that there's a rehabilitation facility or something. Feels just as amazing as you'd think it would. I never would have dreamed I'd have been getting kissed by a baby deer. Or get it to his mama. He needs his mama. And I'm getting up for the dog too. up to where this all took place. There's a deer right out there and I bet you that's its mama. So sneak him down there and see if we can reunite him. Hey trying to follow me around. You gotta get bleating I'm gonna get back to my pickup. Um uh, hopefully film mom coming back to him. Oh you have a good life little feller. Oh, can't get. Just leave it. I'm trying to follow me. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. I'm gonna have to run from it. So, best of luck to you. I gotta get away from that baby. He's trying to follow me. <laughs> oh shit! He's just following me right out. Huh? You little turd. Hey. Takes home its mama. No, you gotta go back to mama. I'm gonna have to get farther and run farther. <laughs> well, come here. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. There he goes. You go find your mom. Come on, Timmer. <laughs> Good deal. Gotta realize I'm not his mama. Going down this little swamp area. Get up here. Hopefully, 
Hopefully this pans out. Here we go here. That little deer had an interesting time there. I hope mama comes. She was right there. This is right where it all happened, so. I'm gonna shut this off. Hopefully listen. Come here, get. Get off me. Yeah. Get. That was weird. I'm gonna sit here quiet. Hopefully mama comes back. Get. Drive up the road and uh, sure hope everything panned out all right. Mama was right there, so anyway, just left him down here. Mama, she just ran right up into this brush here. There did cross the road, so Timber, quick. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully that all pans out. Um, like I said, that was a, I would never grab a baby deer under normal circumstances, but, uh, you know, I wasn't going to let it lay there in that. It jumped in the water, swam that creek, which is a pretty decent sized creek, couldn't get up out of the other side and was laying in the water. I thought I was going to lay there and drown hypothermic and what have you so anyway being what it is I grabbed it out of the water and warmed it up you guys will see that fishing game said um, they will take them back so hopefully 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 that all pans out and that's what happens Anywho, on to the next one. That little fella's best of luck. Good deal. born out here. They didn't think he'd live. He didn't have a birth certificate. I can't tell you how much I wish this ranch was still in our 
family. This is my great granddad's ranch. Check this out. There. We're running through it. Salmon come up. There's elk out there. There's a deer right here close. There's elk on the other side of the Sears River. Whiny dog. I'm sorry, guys. He won't shut up. How much I wish this was still in our. Family's name, Grandpa Wayne. That's when we went up on the Elk Mountain here the other day. He was born out here on this ranch and uh, was raised and moved over the hill. Bought a property over there where he had the horses and whatnot. Um, I'll come around the corner, I'll show you some of the original buildings real fast of my great granddad's original ranch. Uh, there's still the old hay shed it's down here. Um, there's a couple old log cabins in here still too. So after my great grandpa raised cattle, my grandpa Wayne was an outfitter and a logger up here. So there's an old cabin I'm about ready to come by here. It's part of the original homestead. I wish so much that we still own this, this little log cabin right here. That was original. My great grandpa built. And then there's another old building here next to the old, or the new house they put out here. That's original. Timber, shut your face. So much. That was still in the family. I actually got my first buck. Sorry. Right up there with my grandpa Wayne. It's gorgeous out here. Some more deer. A couple over there by the fence. See him. Great grandpa's name was Con Nitz and uh, Conrad. He is end up being. I should take a picture of that. Plug this in here. Uh, I believe the first Idaho County Commissioner um, out here. Heck of, a, heck of a story that goes along with that man. Till the next one, guys. We'll see you. Starting to drop. The only babies I've seen is over here with these ones.